This light really annoys me, but it does this, so I think I'm gonna keep it for a while. Yeah, I don't wanna fall asleep. I don't wanna pass away. I've been thinking of our future cuz I'm Yo guys, what's up? Beauty Squid here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, um I'm gonna be talking because I have another theory video sort of thing. So, I don't know if it was today, but I'm pretty sure it was either today or last week or something like that. Anyway, um a new trailer for the uh, Disney Plus Marvel shows did just get released, so I am going to be breaking them down in today's video, sort of looking at the different clips and stuff, and trying to figure out what exactly the shows are about, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Before we do get into it, I have this shelf right here, which right now I just got a pop on, um, but I need ideas for stuff to put on this shelf because I can't just have a single pop and then some wires and an old light that I used to use. So, yeah. Anyway, um, before I actually start talking about it, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna play it right now so you guys can see it. So, yeah. It's time. Wanda, welcome home. Vision residents. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. There you go. I hope you did enjoy that. Um, I'm super hyped for the TV shows. Um, mostly the Falcon and Winter Soldier, because I don't know why. I've always loved, uh, Bucky Barnes's character, so I think that's pretty cool. But WandaVision also does look good, because Vision's dead in the MCU, so maybe that could be some sort of alternate timeline. But let's start off with WandaVision, because that is... Uh, what looks like the most interesting. So some pictures are going to come up on the screen. Um, and now these are the different clothing styles. Wanda is seen wearing in the actual show. Uh, it flips through a bunch of them in the trailer. Um, and now they're all different styles from uh, like multiple different like what looks like TV shows and they could be it could have something to do with the multiple different timelines because uh, there was one where it looked like they were um, uh, in I Love Lucy which is a old TV show the black and white scenes that's what it looked like they were from and then there was one where I think something was popping up on the screen just like that and Wanda was all shocked and that scene looked like sort of a more modern tv show or even to me it actually looked like the house from fuller house which is the sequel tv show to full house which is actually quite funny because uh the actress who plays wanda her sisters are in full house and fuller house playing the main characters which I think is pretty funny if that is actually turning out to be what it is. So, yeah, um, I think it's WandaVision is going to have something to do with, like, timelines and random stuff that won't make sense right now. But once we get into it, you might understand once we start watching it. Anyway, I'm super excited. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Now... This is an interesting TV show because Falcon is now Captain America, but he is seen in the trailer as just wearing his normal Falcon outfit, but then he is also seen with Captain America's shield uh, at the beginning, like the very beginning of the whole trailer. Um, and then Bucky Barnes is also in it. He's got a gun held up to someone's face, and I recognize that person. I have no idea who it is. If you guys know who it is, please comment down below. It could just be the actor, but I recognize it. So anyway, uh, 
there is also a scene where you do see Captain America running away from the camera, sort of running, and then he puts his hand up to high five someone. Um, and th that looks like some sort of maybe football game or something like that, uh, that he's at, but it's pretty interesting. So, and I can prove by this picture right here that it is actually the original cap and not Falcon wearing his outfit. Because if you look on his neck that is exposed and his hand, you can see there is a lighter skin tone than Falcon has. Um, so that actually kind of proves maybe some sort of flashback or something like that. There is also a scene where people are skydiving, um, and someone turns around and they're holding guns while they're skydiving. So I, I don't know. I honestly have no idea for most of these. These are just ideas I have. Um, but let's move on to the last TV show. For the last TV show, we have the one that tons of people are excited for, Loki. Now... There wasn't that many clips from Loki in the trailer, so I honestly have no idea. I don't know too much about Loki. He's not really one of my favorite characters, although some people do really like him. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because he's, like, mischievous and stuff like that. I, I don't know. But anyway, basically, he... I believe he says... Let's... He says something involving fire... I'll play the clip. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. Yeah, so that sounds definitely like something a villain would say. So maybe Loki is going back to being a villain, but also sort of being a hero. I hope he stays as a hero-ish because I do enjoy that side of Loki. Not so much the evil side because he's kind of overpowered and also... There's one thing that I didn't think about originally, but Loki's dead. Like, he died in Infinity War, and now he's back again? So, either some sort of alternate timeline, or they brought Loki back again because he's faked his death in the past, and there's nothing really shocking about that, but... Alright, so I hope you guys did enjoy those little theories i guess if you guys do have any theories please comment down below or know who that guy is that bucky was about to shoot and then bullets fell and stuff anyway think if if you know who that is please comment thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do drop a like and consider subscribing and squid up and i'll see you guys next time peace out bye <laughs>